What's up guys, we are back with the Ubers match between Hack and Mazar for SPL semifinals playoffs. So we see offense, full out offense from Mazar. And we see Celestine on the other side, which is cool to see, and a Mega Lucario plus. Whatchamacallit? Lunala. So obviously, Starfrog Groudon. Unless it's Starfrog Acids, which is not that common. Recording this alone because people in call are way too wild and like interrupting me and talking shit. Like, not the people from the last video, but the, uh, some other new people who joined. Mega Mans. Let me see. Actually, no, it could be Mega Blaze. Not as regular Blaze, and that's no way that's Mega. That's no way that's regular Mans. That's not a set in Ubers. Let me just look real quick. Um, Mazar's on the Tigers, right? So if he wins this, they are up 6 and 1. Actually, I think it's 6 5 2, yeah. So that would be up 6 2 then. The finish game is actually in like 25 minutes, so I'm gonna record that too. Finch was tricking for Tigers. Uh, not Tigers, Scooters was big. So his RC is dark, which is really cool. This gem with Klefki was um, Prankster being nerfed and Klefki being like common in Ubers because it's check Xerneas. So, like, you cannot even toxic RCs with Klefki, you cannot even touch it anymore. So the Deoxys is gonna get up a spike on the screen here. I, I know, I guess he could go for taunt because the Arceus could have default. But if you predict if you predict the Arceus to go for judgment again, you can go for spike and taunt the next turn. Uh, I don't know if it's worth risking this though, going for spike. No, I think you can go for Spike, because you get up rocks no matter what. Like, even if you defox here, you can just get rocks back up. But I think you can go for Spike here. So, like, Mazar is like orphans um, with the hazard stack, so we can pull and work with its sweepers. And I could see that being double lands, uh, Groudon. So, yeah, he goes for Torn. I think, yeah, spiking would have been nice there, okay. But he was thinking kind of long about it. Yeah, I feel like he didn't lose much from spiking, but it's okay. I mean, if you won the 50-50 and, uh, like, if, I mean, not 50-50, but if RC just went for Devog, that would have been amazing on the taunt. But I feel like the, the judgment was kind of obvious there. Actually, no, I understand. I understand Mazar's play. Because even if he gets up a spike, if the RC is not taunted, it can Devog next turn. Unless, I don't think, like, I don't think Blaziken would be able to Oko RC is. Unless it's maybe if it's if it's a max speed Arceus, maybe the Blazing can oko it after the speed boost. Like speed boost is just so it outspeeds it obviously. The speed boost obviously doesn't change its attacks that So if it's Focus Sash, if it's Focus Sash, Blaze King, I guess he can potentially just attack here, yeah, he doesn't have to protect necessarily. He can go for SD technically, or he can just attack here. Yeah. Like, what is the, what is the play here for Hag? I don't know. He doesn't really have a good switch into this, maybe the, maybe the Groudon can check it. Primal Groudon. I assume it's Primal Groudon, that thing is on like every team in Ubers. 
Okay, goes to Zygarde. I didn't even think about Zygarde. Um, this might... I don't know if Blazing runs Ice Sponge and Ubers, but yeah, he goes for SD. So, I think it's Sash, Blaziken. Oh, he just knew that the RC's only attack is um, on the, the RC's Dark is probably Judgment will always recover Defog. So, I guess he knew that he would live any hit even if he's not Sash. But yeah, if this would have Ice Sponge, it would be lovely to see. Oh, he could also... um. He could be SD Baton Pass, but I don't know if there's a loud one. I think it should be a loud Uber. And two, I don't know if he can like afford to pass into anything, because the Zyga might have Dragon Tail, and then he will just lose all the boost. If Zyga goes for Dragon Tail, he switches. So I guess he just goes for another fighting move here, and if he doesn't... Actually, I'm not sure. I don't think he has Ice Punch, because he's taking kind of long to make his play. If he had Ice Punch, I think he would have clicked it by now. Right, yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of chill, kind of relaxing. No people in the background to interrupt me. I, I have nothing against people in the call and like good chord with them, but that's a bit too wild sometimes when I cannot even talk in my own video. Oh, it's substitute. What the flip? What was he predicting there? I'm pretty sure even Dragon they would break his up. Oh, I guess he's just going down. Maybe he has a reversal on this. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And then I... But doesn't Hack like... Nah, Hack doesn't have... Um, I don't think he has anything with Rocky Helmet to take advantage of the Blaziken being super low. Like, I don't see another reason why you would be sub besides reversal. Well, I mean, obviously you can substitute on, on status moves, but like there's no way that hack went for a status move on this thread, right? Because like Blaziken is frail. The only thing that would go on for a status move on Blaziken would be something like Lugia that only runs, that, that only has Ice Beam Roost and uh, Toxic. And she doesn't do guy on Arrow Blast, so it can't even touch Blaziken. Not sure. That was a bad example. <laughs> yeah, Russell actually probably all goes Zygarde because if he has that, if it's powered up, if he subs down. Because the Zygarde is not in the 100% form, so it's, it's gonna get blown away. This is just a regular Zygarde at the moment. I don't think... Like, what does Hag even do? Like, if he doesn't have... He has to, he has to like, go for East people to to break us. To revenge this, yeah. Or... Uh, Maybe Primal Groudon can live ahead, but I don't know. He will probably just e speed afterwards. Oh, they're, so they're saying in the chat that he's maximizing the speed to pass. So yeah, um, yeah, substitutes other use besides reversal would be, yeah, just keeping keep getting speed boosts. But I'm not really sure. So su swords and substitute. He could be baton as one attack, or he could. I'm not sure what this set is. But I... it's not leftover, so maybe it's some. I don't think it would be sash if it's sub. That that doesn't make any sense. So he subs down again. So I could see this growling having raw. Exactly, exactly. So if this doesn't have reversal. If this if this doesn't have any attacks, like this is so bad for Mazar, he just wasted everything. If he, I, I hope he has reversal and just blows this. Like I could see even Groudon living a reversal because Groudon is fat, but since he has a sub up, I guess that's he gets big damage and like he cannot get revenge. The Groudon has either has to raw, or try to break the sub, and then it gets too killed if it breaks the sub, and if it doesn't have raw. Yeah, that's a reversal. Oh my god, blown away. 
and the smoke just shit goes wild. Holy shit. Like, I wasn't actually sure if that would Oko. Um, I assume that's maybe Adamant Blazing, because, like, with the speed boost, you don't necessarily have to be jolly. So, I guess he doesn't, maybe, th does he not have Protect on this? I guess Protect could be an option. But Tompest could be an option to Protect on the last slot. Or maybe another attacking move. But I did not think that would Oko, because I know Primal Garden is so bulky. So, he's banking on the um, Blaziken only having um, the fighting move, so he, that it potentially cannot hit the, the Lunala, because the Lunala is a ghost type. So, we could either see a Baton Pass here, or maybe he has another attack. Yeah, we see Baton Pass. Into maybe Thalamanth, or I think Mathar just wins this. Because um, he has the SD and the speed, so he can pass this to Arceus or Salamence or Groudon. Yeah, okay, Groudon. Damn, Groudon with, Groudon with plus 6 speed, plus 2 attack. Oh my god, that's wild. So, I think he's just clicking like Fire Punish here. And something is getting blown away. Like, I don't think even... Mm, I guess if a, a max defense Zygarde could potentially come in on a Fire Punch. Then get towards, uh, or like if Zayat comes in here and gets like below 50 to the perfect form, maybe it can live a plus two precipice blades. But I doubt it. He has these up again. Oh my god! So yeah, he's just going for game. So he's basically trying um, to get enough attack so to Oko the Zygarde as well. I, th I think that's what he's trying to do. But he has to attack here. Yeah, Fireborn says he gets blown away. The reason he has to attack is because. He doesn't want to get in range to die from E speed from Lucario or Bullet Punch. Oh, yeah, Lucario from Bullet Punch as he misses a Precipice Blade. Oh my god. At least the Groudon lives the Thousand Arrows, but that still sucks. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, he could he could be a, he could have run EQ. But that's probably there's probably a reason why he has um Okay, Hex says it still wins. There's probably a reason why he has Thousand Arrows, cause like maybe if he only gets one SD, there's a specific one that that it doesn't kill if it has Earthquake, so I'm pretty sure it has. There's a reason behind running Precipice Blade, so he gets a kill. Hack decides to sack off the Arceus Dark, and the carry can eventually with Bullet Punch slash E Speed. I'm pretty sure Mazasta wins, but. Um, I would have. I, want, I wanted to see the Groudon just bop, go for the sweep. That would have been amazing. A blunder in the chat. Yeah, his bullet punch Groudon dies. Who said Mazar once wasn't God's gift to Ubers? Tell me right now. So yeah. Hmm. This is bad, dude. Blaziken dies to priority. Xerneas. I don't think Xerneas can beat this. Like this might live a Moonblast. What am I saying? Like, how, what's Xerneas base speed again? Th Xerneas is kind of slow, right? Yeah, it's only 99 speed. So if it's not Scarf Xerneas, it dies to Iron Tail. If this is Iron Tail, I don't think Bullet Bunch kills because Xerneas is kind of fat. Okay, we see Arceus Ground come out. And the yeah, Amanth could die to potential Ice Punch. Actually, maybe not after Intimidate, but yeah. Green Arceus makes sense, and now you can fire off a Judgment. Or maybe a Calm one, but I think you have to go for Judgment. Or Earthquake, I guess he could be Physical Groudon. Uh, not Groudon, Arceus. Good God, what is wrong? Not sure if Hack would switch into his Zygarde here, or what's the play for Hack? Just get damage on this? He kinda needs the Bullet Punch to not lose. Can needs the bullet punch uh, for the for the Xerneas, yeah. He goes hard. Desire, there's absolutely nothing as we see. It's physical Arceus that could be. I don't know if there's max defense Zaya, but the jack shit. Like there was a snack. Yeah, but as you can touch it in another two. As we see, glare Zaya got so. That's to check stuff, um, like, 
for that dra Salamence doesn't DD on you for free. I don't know if he has Dragon Tail too, if he has Glare. So we shot Thousand Arrows, right? And he probably has Rest and he could be Coil or he could be so Dragon Tail, not sure. He could be Sleep Talk. If my Zara loses this, I'm gonna be so pissed. Not only rooting for him because he's German, like also like I just like this, this set he brought. It was so cool to watch. Like for some, for me this was so cool. I don't really play much Ubers. I didn't know about <laughs> this cool set or tech or whatever. So it's Z move Arceus, Tectonic Rage blows this. I get amazing. Thankfully he doesn't get paralyzed there. That would have been, oof, that would have been bad. Damn, this this hyper offense is kind of fire. Good God, um, oh, my, my my dude Tebow liked this offense. So he has lately started playing Ubers, and he likes offense. Yeah, shout out to you, my dude. <laughs> uh, I'm actually kind of surprised that we never saw a Toxapex used in Ubers and SPL. I have, I mean, I haven't watched uh, every Ubers game of SPL, but I have watched, uh, I have recorded a few. Just like Toxapex is not that bad in Ubers, I feel. It's kind of like checks Xerneas. Can haste the Geomancy boost. You can get up T spikes to support your team and get chip damage for your sweepers. So we see Lognala um, probably go for Ice Beam here or I don't know, Sunshock. If it's Scarf, is it revealed yet if it's Scarf? I guess Scarf probably makes the, the most sense to me on this team. I mean, he has Glare for speed control and he has Bullet Punch for priority, but I still think his Scarf is always nice to have. See, he goes for Moonga's Beam Blazing and gets sacked off. As Blazing was pretty much useless at this point, so that's a fine play. Munga has been a special, so we could see. Um, no, I don't think I don't think Geomancy is a play because you get you get like um, Munga's beam into bullet punch probably kills Zernius. So I, I like I don't think it makes a difference if he Geomancy or just attacks twice, but I'm not sure. Oh my god, that is that specs? Okay, so Geomancing was the right play. Just forget forget what I said. So that was important to get a speed boost so we can um pick off the Lunala with the Moonblast. I don't know if one Moonblast would have killed Bullet Punch Revenges, but I think Mens should Mens gets off the Intimidate. And even if this has an ice punch, one, I don't know if it kills. And two, I think Arceus lives a hit pretty yeah, Arceus lives a hit obviously with Intimidate. But Arceus can get paralyzed, so I hope this, this man doesn't die to like an ice punch. So I, I think he doesn't have ice punch because he said GG. He yeah, just has iron tail and he misses, so that, that doesn't matter. Like he hexed earlier. Double edge just blows the Lucario away. Mizar takes the win, and the, I think this, the Circus Maximus Tigers are up 6 and 2 versus the, versus the Raiders, so this is gonna be. Whew. So the, I can show you what matches are left. Uh, Ray Scarfield versus P2 is left, Anti versus Steve Angel is left. And TDK versus Nintendo is left and because he was Megan for this specific series and the Raiders have to win every game to have to bring it to a tiebreaker otherwise this is, they are out of playoffs. So this is hype, this is hype. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, I think the, the finish game that is in like 20 min 10 minutes or something was well, tricking that also Thunder Manuel, but that is in the, the Big vs. Scooter series. I think Finch is pretty much forced to win that series. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Doc Rich. I'm signing out. Peace, friends.